unboxing um, is picture books distributed by Penguin Random House, but I believe they're from Kennewick Press, and they are all available um, starting October 13th, 2020, so they're all available now. It's actually a pretty big box, so I'll see if I can do it all in one video. I think it's too long, I might have to split it into two. So maybe I'll can kind of do it quickly. Um, so the first one is Mary Seacole, Bound for the Battlefield by Susan Goldman Rubin, illustrated by Richie Pope. So it looks like a picture book biography um, about a woman um, in the front lines of the Crimea Crimean War um, who was a nurse. Um, yeah, so let's see. So yeah, so it is, it's kind of like middle grade. You know, it's, it's quite... It's quite dense in terms of text, but there are illustrations that break it up that are also really, I, I mean, that like the illustrations really are telling the story as well. They're very, um, I mean, I, I, I think they're, they're really gorgeous. Um, and so quickly about Susan and these are the books that she's done and Richie Pope as well. So that looks like... Um, sort of a hidden figure of nursing. Um, yeah, it's great. There should be more of them. The next one is One Mean Ant with Fly and Flea, written by Arthur Yorix and illustrated by Sergio Ruzier, um, who I, I really do like his illustration style. It's always full of emotion and humor. And he seems to do a lot of like insects, Sergio. And so Arthur's books include these. One Mean Ant is the one I read most recently. And Sergio also, um, I th he writes and he illustrates, I think. And so this one looks like it might be about bullying, One Mean Ant. Kind of reminds me of the grouchy ladybug. Um, but here they are, an ant and a fly, both stuck in a spider's web, both on the menu. And um, so it's sort of this conflict of these three. Oh, and there's more. There's also a flea. Um, so it's a fly, an ant, a spider and a flea, and sort of their, looks like humorous, interpersonal, um, actually looks quite involved. There seems to be a, a performing circus of, ins of uh, insects, and you know, it looks like a funny adventure. Also includes bullying, that would be my, that would be my take. But I actually have to read it. Um, the next one is Mouse's Night Before Christmas. Oh, great. I have a little pile of books here for Christmas and Hanukkah, and I'll, I'll like need to do a post on that. So it looks like it's by Tracy Corduroy, illustrated by Sarah Massini. It looks like it's a riff off The Night Before Christmas. Um, it's more of a poem, right? It's not really a song. Yeah, it's really more of like a story poem. But it actually isn't the, the you know... A riff, like a redoing of it. It's actually it's its own story. It looks like. Um, but here you have Santa. So it's Christmas Eve, and only one mouse is awake. So when Santa arrives after getting late because he's lost in the blizzard, Mouse is there to help him and the reindeer. Um, you know, sort of make up for lost time. Yeah. So. So the night before, so it isn't, it is not a riff off that poem. It's its own story about um, helping Santa. All right, that looks fun. I'll add it to my Christmas list. And, oh, here we go. Northbound, A Train Ride Out to Segregation by Michael S. Bandy and Eric Stein, illustrated by James Ransom. I'm a huge James Ransom fan and his wife as well. Oh, great. So it's good to see more, um, you know, um, history, um, Jim Crow history. Um, and so 
This is his, um, the author's own recollections um, of taking the train during segregation. Um, that looks, it, it looks and sounds powerful. Um, and these, oh, grand, Granddaddy's Turn. You know, that's one of my favorite books about um, election and voting, Granddaddy's Turn. Um, and that's the same author. And James Ransom is, um, so there's an author, a co-author, and the illustrator. Um, and so, yeah, I think these stories are really important. And um, this is beautifully illustrated. And I think it, it just helps to uh, help the readers, like myself, relate to, um, you know, actually what it was like to um, experience racism, this kind of structural racism. And I think right now, it's just the whole world, especially the United States, you know, sort of re-examining racism and structural racism. This is going to be a really important um, book to have in a library. Either school library, public library, classroom library, home library. Um, so the next one is, If Winter Comes, Tell It, Tell It, I'm Not Here, by Simona Ceriolo. Okay, so this is a title that my husband could relate to because he does not like winter in the Northeast. He does not like the cold. Um, and um, he loves summer. And... Yeah, this is about the changing of the seasons, but also um, the dreading of winter, you know? And that's, you know, that's like, you know, we have like seasonal depression, my, my oldest daughter and my husband, and I think I did too when I moved from California. Um, and there aren't a lot of books about seasonal depression, you know, with the loss of light, the short days and the cold. And just like the general gray. So this looks great. I mean, I'll, honestly, I'm going to have my husband read it. Um, and so Simona, these are the books that she wrote, um, wrote and illustrated. Um, yeah, so that is a timely topic because, you know, as we say now, winter is coming. Um, the Boy and the Gorilla by Jackie Azua Kramer, illustrated by Cindy Derby. And I, I've covered Jackie's uh, picture books um, on my blog in the past. I, I, she has a really lovely uh, voice. Her picture books are always sensitive and, you know, about kindness and, and um, you know, inclusion. Um, the, so she, yeah, the author of The Green Umbrella and If You Want to Fall Asleep. Um, and this illustrator, Cindy Derby, I mean, like, wow, right? What? really gorgeous illustrations like that cover is just really stunning just like the colors and kind of the 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 way she rendered the gorilla with that purple and kind of like it's sort of loose but then like you know there's really strong emotional expression over the gorilla's face and i like that how the boy is so small next to the gorilla and so uh, the story oh the story is about grief. So it's a young boy mourning his mother and it's an imaginary gorilla that helps him talk to his father about the loss. So it's about grief and loss. Um, and that's going to be really important to have a lot of books like that with 200,000 plus deaths from the COVID pandemic in the United States alone. And this looks really beautiful and sensitive. Um, I have a grief and loss list, but it's more about loss of pets. And my grief and loss list, I think I'm more middle grade. But, um, you know, I, I do think uh, having a list for picture books is going to be important. I have to add that. All right, so I think it's nine minutes. I think I'll stop here. I just want to say again that these books were available starting October 13th. Thank you to Candlewick Press and Penguin Random House and to you all for watching.